guys welcome back to the channel thanks for taking time to come and uh, check out the videos we got last week we did a kind of a product review over the deep little ends this week we're going to be painting the curl lake crawl we got it done right here this is a cool pattern this is a great pattern for this time of year sounds like a good video to you come on check it out we're going to spray some paint okay so we're going to do a curl crawl on this deep little end we've got the bait uh, some light sandpaper going to do a white base coat real quick this is a real good all-around crawl pattern um, what i mean by all around uh, clean water stained water I've done fairly well in both. So. Pretty fired up about having these deep little ends. <clears throat> Lure net. I don't know how long they've been doing that. I just recognized it. So if you guys are <clears throat> custom painters out there, check out LureNet.com. Go to the DIY section and look for those bundles. I hope they uh, add a few as we go. And they got DD-22s. They got the deep little end. Uh, seemed like they had a bandit jerk bait, wally diver. I don't know what it was. Uh, and they got a spook junior. I wish they had the large spook on there. But anyway, hopefully they'll add a few baits this goes over well and it's always good to have name brand lures all right next up we're going to do a little bit of copper all these we're going to have several pearl colors <clears throat> and this is just going to be an underlying color and a little bit up into that shoulder and this is probably why I say that it's equally good and stained or clear water. It's got a little bit of flash to it. And this one's named after Kerr Lake here in Oklahoma. <clears throat> I actually found a lure uh, on the lake that was very similar to this pattern. It was pretty well beat up, had a lot of teeth marks in it, so I recreated it years and years ago. And so next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little pearl orange. Tone that pearl orange down just a little bit for this belly color. And we're going to add, so it's eight drops. of a pearl white. Mix those two together so it's a kind of a very light pearl orangish. So we want to stay pretty much on the belly. We want to leave some of this copper up here toward the sides and it's not any, it's okay to get some a uh, little bit of overspray up into that area, but Thank you. 
I think that's about right. So it's got a pretty good little transition. Fade that orange just a little bit into that copper. Uh, but our belly's good. So we're gonna we're gonna come back over the top. We're gonna mix up a little green pumpkin. Uh, it's kind of a darker green pumpkin or olive. Uh, I'm always one to call them green pumpkin. Uh, I've done a few olive colors too, and and really this one <laughs> is probably about as close to an olive color as you could get. So rather than call it a dark green pumpkin, we should probably call this one olive. So there you go. If you got an olive color that you like, a green olive color, obviously, then which your your detailed sepia is is extremely close. And but I always start with a little leaf green. And I'm kind of a four to 42. Sometimes I'll do a, uh, instead of a leaf green, we'll do a, a moss. So I'm going to add a little bit of sepia. For this particular one, leaf green and a, and a dark brown, 42. Or you can go 4 to 1 if you're using a dark brown. Um, I think that's what I did here because I did eight, eight leaf green, two sepia, get that light green out of there. There it comes. Okay, so again, starting at the nose, and go down that back. Remember to leave a little of that copper. Don't cover that copper up. So as we're getting this green to the shade we want, we got to make sure we're spraying at a at an angle that won't cover our copper and get too much overspray down. That's right on the money. We'll do a little heat set. And we're going to be doing a different crawl pattern today. And this is how, when I started out, let me get this heat down. When I started out, I, uh, I cut them out like this for each bait. And uh, if you want to get some real, real clean lines, and then use this method. Yeah, I think this will work. So again, this is just frisket paper that I cut out. This takes a little bit longer, obviously, because you're going to tape each one and match it up on the back. Okay, I just love this auto born black. I don't know if they're gonna have that any longer, but it is a really, really good black 
spray is excellent. So again, we want some clean lines. So again, just leaves a little bit cleaner line. You're just starting out and you want to tape each one of them off and, and that's what you do. same stencil here all the way down the back. stencil's done. Now we're going to add a little bit of texture. So we're going to do a little bit of black. a little bit of that pearl orange.
just the way I do it. Uh, you can add orange texture however you'd like. So you see the end of the kind of thing. with metallic blue. I'm telling you, we're just gonna blast the very front of that nose, lightly. So the last thing we've got to do is put some eyes on this bad boy and we can paint them, but I think I'm going to try some of these 3D black eyes. I really like black eyes on crawfish. Sure, we got a, it doesn't have a socket for them, so. Yeah, I think I like it. Into the, uh, where's my dad gun glue? Mmm. Okay, gonna open a new one. My buddies are bold. My gel super glue. I doubt they have. I probably just left it somewhere. We got a brand new one. And I'm gonna move this one down. I like it right, right behind that blue. Right there. Okay, so we gotta get this one in the same slot. They look even. So there you have the Kerr Lake Crawl. Kerr Lake, Oklahoma, right here on the Arkansas River. I'd done this pattern oh, two or three years ago on YouTube, but thought I'd do a little remake. Obviously, I've probably changed a few things since then. Uh, but this thing's going to get a nice coat of clear coat. You guys make sure you stay around to the end once you see this pop with that clear coat on it. We take some of those good photographs of it and post it at the end. Something that uh, you won't see in this, but will go in this clear coat, is going to be a real fine metallic blue sparkle uh, glitter. Okay, just real fine. Uh, let me show you the glitters that I use ultra fine yeah get these that ain't the right blue 
Oh, it's down here at the bottom. Oh, yeah, right here. Metallic roll blue. That's going to go in the clear coat. We're going to shoot that on. And uh, I picked this glitter up on eBay years ago. So uh, if that place is still around, glitter and crafts for you. Gmail. Dot com. But anyway, just a little bit down the back and a little bit on the sides just to kind of give that bait just a little more flash. But anyway, I hope you guys like it and hope you'll see those pictures at the end. Uh, fired up about these uh, blanks. So we're going to get to see a lot of these deep little lens and possibly a couple of big DD-22s that we're going to be throwing down and packaging up and try to, to push out there on the old interweb to sell. So if you're interested in any of this, Google me or email me. Uh, go to my greencountrybaits.com and uh, check out the website. You can message me through that. Uh, anyway, till next week, Green Country Baits, signing out. Thank you.